hold on to your hats, folks, because Aston Martin just pulled off the heist of the century. Adrian Newey, the mad scientist behind Red Bull's rocket ships, is packing up his pencils, heading over to the green team, and could turn Aston Martin from Formula One's fancy midfield daydream to a nightmare for the top teams. But can the man who gave us all those shiny Red Bull titles save Lawrence Stroll's wallet from burnout? Or will Aston end up as the F1 version of a midlife crisis with a shiny new toy? Today we're diving headfirst into this absolute paddock earthquake. And no, it's not just Alonzo's ego shaking things up this time. Hit that subscribe button and buckle up because this is going to be a ride. Let's get into it. Let's start with the Whopper. Adrian Newey, the Michelangelo of Formula One car design, is swapping Red Bull Blue for Aston Martin Green. Yes, the guy who made sure Red Bull's cars have more downforce than an overachiever on caffeine is now working for Fernando Alonso's new playground. I know, right? Alonso and Newey. Sounds like the setup for an F1 buddy cop movie where they clean up the competition. But wait, what does this actually mean? Well, first off, it means Lawrence Stroll, Aston's billionaire owner, is not messing around. The man whipped out his checkbook like a guy at an auction who's had too much champagne. Reports are flying that Newey's deal could hit a cool $30 million per year. Add to that an equity stake in the team, and you've got yourself one seriously expensive new toy. I guess when you're a billionaire, you can either buy a yacht or Adrian Newey. Maybe both. Who knows? This higher? It's a power move. Aston Martin is basically saying, hey, Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, time to stop playing nice. We're gunning for that top step. You don't bring in the guy with 13 championship winning cars under his belt just to fight for P6. Oh no, Stroll's making it crystal clear. Aston Martin's here to win, and they're spending big to do it. Now let's fast forward to... 2026, the year every F1 nerd's calendar is circled, highlighted, and probably tattooed on their arm. That's when the new engine and chassis regs drop, and oh boy, does Nui love himself a new set of rules. Give the man a fresh rulebook, and he'll turn it into a title-winning car faster than you can say cost cap. Remember 2009? Yeah, Red Bull came out swinging. 2014, Newey made Red Bull the only team not crying in the corner after Mercedes started winning everything. And 2022, same story. Every time the regulations change, Newey shows up like that kid who studied for the test while everyone else was still figuring out what chapter they were on. So what should we expect from Aston Martin's 2026 car? Picture this, a machine so slick so full of clever aerodynamic tricks that even Ferrari's pit wall won't know what hit them. Maybe a futuristic diffuser or some wild aero solutions that make the other teams wonder if they're stuck in 2015. One thing's for sure, with Nui in charge, that Aston's going to be turning heads. Hopefully not Alonzo's in rage. Speaking of 2026, that's when Aston's new engine deal with Honda kicks in. Yes, the same Honda that partnered with Red Bull to produce those blazing engines. And guess who worked with Honda before? That's right, Adrian freaking Nui. It's like the universe is playing matchmaker here, bringing Honda and Nui back together for a second date. If this goes well, we might just see Alonzo's dream of a title-winning car finally become reality. Unless, you know, he gets tired of waiting and retires to a Spanish vineyard instead. And if anyone's worried about how Nui and Honda will get along, don't be. Nui's got a PhD in chassis engine relationships. He'll make sure that engine and car are so in sync they'll finish each other's sentences. Or at least cross the finish line first. Speaking of dreams, let's talk about Fernando Alonso. The man's driven more F1 cars than anyone else on the grid and most of them were designed to disappoint him. But not this time. 
This time, Alonzo's got the brainiac who designed cars he couldn't beat. And now he gets to drive one. Imagine Alonzo giving feedback to Nui. It's like an F1 nerd's fantasy. Alonzo's got that sharp eye for development, and Nui's got the engineering skills to make that feedback turn into raw speed. These two could be the F1 equivalent of Jordan and Pippin. And let's not forget Lance Stroll. Yeah, Alonzo might steal the headlines, but Lance, buddy, you're driving a Nui car now, too. Time to step it up, champ. If there's one thing we know, it's that Nui designs cars that work for all types. Sebastian's silky, smooth, driving style, Verstappen's elbows out aggression. So there's hope yet for Lance to stop being the punchline of Aston Martin. And maybe, just maybe, become the underdog story we didn't see coming. Or he'll just crash a Nui car, which would be a tragedy on par with spilling your drink at an F1 race. Here's a question. How exactly does Nui fit into Aston's already stacked technical team? Dan Fallows, Enrico Cardiel, Eric Blandin. Sounds like Aston's hired half the paddock. It's like putting Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen with three other Michelin star chefs. Who's calling the shots? Will there be friction? Will Fallow start passive-aggressively misplacing Nui's drawings? Nah. Aston's handled this smartly. They've given Nui a bespoke managing technical partner role. Basically, they've given him a corner office where he can do his thing without stepping on too many toes. And let's be real, this guy draws his designs by hand. The rest of the team will be too busy marveling at how he's basically a living F1 relic to be mad at him. And now we've got to talk about the impact this has on the rest of the grid. You think Red Bull's a bit nervous? I mean, they just lost the brain behind their domination, and he's taken all his secrets to a team that's gunning for them. It's like your ex getting into a relationship with your arch nemesis. How do you think that'll sit with Christian Horner and the gang? I'm betting there's a lot of sweaty brows in Milton Keynes right about now. For the rest of the grid, especially Mercedes and Ferrari, this is just what they needed. Another top team stealing the limelight. As if fighting Verstappen wasn't enough. Now they've got a newly designed Aston to deal with, it's like F1's turned into a battlefield of who can hire the best brains, and Aston just pulled a massive coup. So, there you have it. The biggest shakeup in the paddock since, well, the last time Alonso switched teams. Can Nui transform Aston Martin into a championship contender? Will Alonso finally get that third title, or will Lance Stroll be the one to surprise us all? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and hey, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. You don't want to miss what's coming next, because trust me, F1's about to get spicy.